it's madness we're actually filming in the morning why does the lighting seem very very strange is it just actually because <clears throat> there's also sun on my face who knows anywho i'm gonna go for a dog walk with my mum in like damn she just pulled up she just pulled up <laughs> she's looking at me through the car ah let's do this really really quick and then we can go into more detail later okay ah speed round I'm also hoping to take a cup of tea with me on a walk. So, uh, Teaspoon Tea Company, we have a rose congee, which is black tea and rose petals. I have tried one of these before and it wasn't my favorite. So, probably not the one that we're gonna take with us. Chai Wala, she hasn't got out of the car yet. She's a slow lady, it's fine. <laughs> Chai Wala, we have a ginger beer, which is what? It's definitely a herbal tea, so again, I'm not taking that on a walk. No. Caffeine. Where is the caffeine? Oh, we do have one of our tea brewers today. There's a cool mint herbal tea. No, next. <laughs> I don't know what day number 20 is. Day number 20 is chamomile, lemon balm, and lavender. Herbal. No. Hi, Mom. I literally just started recording and I was like, my mum's gonna be here in like 20 minutes and you pulled up. But it's not half past one already. I think you're telling porkies. Oh my goodness. A rose congo again. I think we might have to give it a try, but I don't wanna try it while I don't have an option for a second cup. Day number 20 is our uh, Kinam Mu Feng. We have had this one before and I cannot remember what kind of tea it was. Oh, you haven't brought the doggy in? You were expecting me to be ready. That was foolish. Was expecting you to be ready. Do you want a cup of coffee to go? To have while we're walking? I'm going to make a cup of tea for while we're walking. Yeah. I should have... Well, if Ben hasn't left it at work, I should have two solo cups, which are the, um, you liked it last time I used it, the glass one. So you can take a cup of tea to go. I'm not gonna be long, I'm, I'm rushing through. Chocolate orange, pure, pure? I like cold, I'm hot. So we might actually go for this one. Does it say how to? Brew for three to four minutes. If it is broken up and it's not a cake, then I might give this a go and be adventurous. It smells pretty good. It is broken up. It is not a cake. Although I'm not sure I want to try Pu'er for the first time while not near the house because I've heard that it can cause reactions. Day number 20 of our AC Perch. Beautiful chocolate coloured tin. Again, we're not we're not saying that. Ooh. Ooh, my flipping Nora. Mum, give this a sniff. It smells like granddad. Does smell like granddad. <laughs> There's almost definitely aniseed in this. It smells exactly like aniseed balls, which my granddad absolutely loved. Uh, day number 20, white tea, apple, cinnamon, orange peel, coconut pieces, clove buds, natural orange flavouring, cinnamon flavouring, and clove flavouring. What? There's no aniseed in that? What the heck do you reckon are in aniseed balls then? Other than just aniseed? Are you cold? Is that why you stood by the radiator? No, I was watching Monty. I think I'm going to have to let him in if you're not ready. I'm, like, that was the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the last one, but if you want a cup of coffee to go, then I'll be, like, five minutes. I'll let him in. Okay. That was super record opening time, though. Although I'm not sure I actually want any of these to go on our walk. Oh, no, we could do the AC perch. Let's take the AC perch on. Oh, I forgot that I literally just opened that. I wanted to show you how cute Monty is when he comes in, but she's taking forever. I told you she was a slow lady. She's just a little loud lady. What could it be? Thank you, machine. I did need to know that. I did need to know that. Monty! Hello, Monty! You're actually really cute. Like, I've been sat here for ages. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
but mum has got a birthday cake coffee from beanies and because we haven't got two soda cups i am using my cool infused cup from the uh tea pro which oh I've, you put the tea leaves in the top part and then if you're on the go you can just leave it as the hot water keep going You can leave it as hot water and tea and voila it's you can just turn it over when you want and then i'll show you again you turn it back when it's done and it stops the steeping process which is really cool because seeing as hello minty seeing as we're home i'll just steep that now before we go hello monkey Um, enough so it's my fault we lost some of the tea but there we go we've turned it back over and there is our cup of tea I can now take these leaves off if I want and we're all good to go nice and empty and clean and that can go back on like that this is our closest beach and it's always super super busy you have to stop and wait for cars constantly what have you done you've all twisted i'll help you hang on silly boy silly boy we can't get parked at this beach either sorry monkey not back turn monkey slippy uh okay well reverse we go on next beach Emma, I see the scene, I see it first. That is perfection. And look at the lighting. Mum, we should come here and film more often. Not for walks. Walking is too much effort. I don't even think walking is a word. It still smells exactly like Grandad. I'm really excited for this one. Could be tobacco. <laughs> It's delicious. Do you want to try it? Do you like aniseed balls? I don't like aniseed balls. It, it, it just smells more like tobacco to me, though. It doesn't smell like tobacco. I did have a tea the other day that smelled like tobacco. I'm not trying your coffee. Hmm, that's actually nice. We found two teas that Mum likes now. I think the other one. <clears throat> no, was the other one Fulton Mason? I don't remember. I'll have to look back and see what was the other one you liked. I'll buy you an advent calendar for Christmas next year. Then you won't ask me to keep making you ones. Yeah, I would like you to make these. <sighs> I did one nice thing last year, and I made her an advent calendar, <clears throat> which had like tokens, like vouchers for things I would do for her and buy for her, and like gratitude letters. And she wanted me to replace all the tokens this year. She didn't even use all the other tokens because, you know, 2020. But she wanted me to replace them. I said no, she could just start it over. She wasn't happy with it. <laughs> Did you have to wait for me? I don't want to get my bottom sandy. Wait. Okay, go on. Yeah, you went real far, Monty. Monty is a wimp and he doesn't like being too far away from mum. So he walks a little way and then he turns around, sees she's still there and then he comes back or he waits. Monty, 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 Monty. Hi, baby. Oh my 
give it your present. Oh, oh, thank you, dear. It's a pretty one. It's a pretty one. Very pretty. Keep it forever. Mum has a bowl of stones right next to her front door because we always used to do this as children. Why did we do this as children? Is it because it's free? I'm one of five, so we went to the beach a lot because it is free. But why were we always collecting the stones? Oh, just because they're pretty. Anyway, my mum fosters and she does it and I do it and she got the foster kids to do it. So she just has loads of random beach stones. And I also do it every single country I go to. If there is a beach, I will pick up a stone and bring it home for her. I don't do that. It's not always allowed in customs. I do always do it. It's in a glass cabinet. It is definitely not warm in here. So I left the door open for the duckies. Hi guys! Are you all okay? Is everyone happy with, with the situation? Hi Buddles! Did you eat all your snacks? It smells very very similar to the chocolate orange tea I think it was True Tea Company that I had last Christmas but with like a slightly darker tea smell at the end. Oh, It's very orangey. It's nice. What's the time? Quarter past four. Because I have a feeling that purity, puer, puer, I think it's puerity, is meant to be quite caffeinated. Oh well. I like it. And it gave me an excuse to use my new teapot, which isn't that new. But it's the first time I've used it. It's so cute. It's itty bitty. It's an itty bitty teapot compared to my hand. Where did you get this? Which which charity shop did you get this from? Was it the one we like or was it the pet one? It was the SPCA one. SPCA. Mum got it for me as a bribe slash well done you left the house after granny died because I didn't want to leave the house and she made me. So she bought me a teapot and then the second time I left the house I also get a teapot and then the third time no one brought me a teapot and I was sad. We went out today. Did I get a teapot? Where's my teapot, Mum? You can't have a teapot every time you leave the house. I still think that would probably only be about five teapots. <laughs> I've not left the house that many times. Even to come and sit in your garden, I think I've probably left the house less than ten times since February. Mm. I am going with that I have left the house 14 times since February. I've done four visits in mum's garden. We just went for a walk today. I've been to the post office twice. We went to the charity shop once to donate a load of granny's things. I did two teacup runs round Norfolk. I went for a ride in the car once. I went to Tesco once. I had two other times. Now I can only count to 12. You've been to the beach. I did that. We went for a walk. Oh. Well, now I can only count to 12. But yeah, basically, I, I haven't been anywhere in a long time. I don't know what happened. I ate some leftover pizza. And I was like, mm, I'm tired. Luckily the ducks are inside. Oh, I'm tired. I'm just going to go for like a 25 minute nap. And I put a timer on. I was like, oh, it's not that late. No, another five minutes. Another ten minutes. It's flipping quarter past eight. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep at like half past five. 
I was gonna have another cup of tea. I was gonna have that rose congo. I, I had like shots planned for going in the loft and getting the Christmas tree, and getting the Christmas tree done before Ben gets here, which I still could do. But I need to go to this. Oh my goodness. What an honor. Okay, well, I suppose I'm gonna call it that for a day. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow for the 21st. We're so close to Christmas now. And just a reminder to everyone in the UK, if this is where you're watching it from, or anyone anywhere, actually, Christmas is not cancelled just because you can't physically see your family. We will all get through this eventually. Everything will be fine. Long term. Just be patient. Biggest.